Hey, Gemini Gang. Happy Thursday. It's like Thursday. All Gemini placements take what resonates. Resonates. <laughs> take what resonates. Leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you in your situation. One on ones or personal readings are in the description box on the website. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes. Gemini's, hit that subscribe. So, we have religious factors, passion, and new love. Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah, I got some new, new coming in. Stay optimistic about your love life, Gemini's. Okay, so that talks about positive thinking. So let's see what's going on. Y'all have a new person, Gemini's. Let's see what's happening. Okay, two of pentacles. Now, first thing that comes to my mind when I see this, under the religious factors, especially with the emperor on the bottom, that you are dealing with a divine um, could also be some type of past life situation because it looks like he has this infinity symbol um, in the middle of the card. So this could be some type of past life situation, um, Gemini's. This could also be someone kind of finding themselves, learning themselves spiritually, um, Gemini's. camera the ten of pentacles the world oh the emperor again really now i'm seeing the ten of pentacles here on the bottom of this deck as well so i've been getting this energy a lot for you guys so it makes me wonder if you are um is this stability coming from the person on your mind or is it coming from a new person um, Gemini. Some of you have a new person coming in. Mm -hmm. This new person could be a past life connection. We'll see. Oh, the Eight of Cups and the Empress. <laughs> well then, yeah. So you're definitely dealing with a divine. My question is though, um, what the hell, Gemini's? Is is this new or is this a past energy? Because it could literally be either from the spread that I'm seeing here. Um, the Eight of Cups is you leaving something behind. So that kind of that further goes into you might be uh, leaving someone behind, Gemini. Okay, so let's see what's going on though. Okay, because it could be somebody coming back uh the world can be about completions but it could also be about reconciliations so we'll see all right we'll find out more but right now i'm loving the spread gemini's i feel like you are walking away from something that's not serving you anymore to something that is uh gemini to something that you want Y'all, the Ten of Pentacles again. Why do we keep seeing this? The King of Pentacles on the bottom. So we're seeing this one, two, three times. Because again, it's on the bottom of this deck as well. So there's definitely something very solid about um, this love offer coming in. I'm also seeing too, like something generational here, uh, Gemini's. You and this person like breaking generational curses or doing something different within your family bloodline. Because uh, the Ten of Pentacles can be about um, your family, um, Gemini's, or your legacy, uh, so to speak. So you may be dealing with someone that is very big on leaving something behind for their, their uh, children and grandchildren and things like that. Take it how it resonates. Someone very money focused could be a Taurus that you're dealing with, but yeah, uh, Gemini's. And again, this could be you. Like you are very focused on. Some of you want to start a family and have a family, uh, especially with this Empress here. So 
Yeah, good vibes, Gemini's. I'm also getting two Gemini's, the Justice card showing up. So, you and the person on your mind may not agree on um, money matters as well, uh, Gemini. So, I feel like some of you guys are needing to kind of learn how to. Whoa, not the Empress again. What else fell out? Okay, so the Three of Wands, I've got to look at it before I show y'all. <laughs> Okay, so I think there's this is two cards. Yeah, mm-hmm. The Empress again. Yeah. Ooh, Gemini's. And then we have the King of Swords here. And we have the Temperance on the bottom. So Aquarius, uh, Libra Taurus, and Sagittarius. So I feel like Gemini's for some of you, you could be coming back into contact with someone. Um, could be an Aquarius or it could just be someone that, you know, doesn't really show a whole lot of emotion, um, but is a, a communicator. Someone wants to communicate, wants to reach out. I feel like, Gemini, someone really wants a family with you. Like this, this is what this person thinks about. They want a future. They want to build a legacy with you. You may have even talked about this with this person. Um, if this is a past person, Gemini, but someone is wanting, um, a family dynamic to create a family also get to that this person wants to like include you you know in their family dynamic and all of that good stuff especially with the temperance card because I've explained in other readings how the temperance is about merging uh, two elements together into one so I feel like this person is wanting to like include you in their family dynamic for some of you meet their mother because uh, that's the Empress is the Divine Mother. So meet their mother, uh, Gemini's. Like this person wanting to like take something to the next level. However, the Emperor. Are you kidding? Gemini's look. <laughs> Let me say this, okay? Um, this person definitely feels like you're their Divine Counterpart. I can't stress this enough and I know I've said this in other readings but this person wants marriage and if you don't want marriage take it however it resonates with you as far as what this person wants next level whatever this person wants marriage they want everything with you uh, Gemini's now when I see the Empress under passion I get a child okay so just be mindful of that if you are still in your baby making stages in life okay I would be uh, mindful of that but um since we're seeing this emperor here, we keep seeing that the empress, emperor, empress, empress kind of, you know, interchangeable right now. I feel like you are dealing with a divine counterpart of that's just how they see you. Because like I said, this person feels like they're meant to be with you. This is what I get here. Like you're meant to have this family dynamic. Um, and for some of you, that is true. Like you came into this life to um have this family dynamic with this person even if it's a blended family especially with the two of pentacles here ah. oh something's gonna happen real quick gemini's i'm seeing the ace of swords mm -hmm. and then i'm seeing the chariot as well with the ace of uh eight of wands on the bottom yeah so if you're not talking to this person, I feel like you will be very, very soon. Um, now, if you are talking to this person, I feel like there's going to be talks of exp expanding the family, having a family, getting married, things like that, um, Gemini's. But I feel like something's going to need to be left behind. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to leave something behind, um, Gemini's. I'm also seeing, too, there could be, like, some type of communication barrier that you two have. Like, you two are needing to learn how to communicate better. Um, yeah. I'm also seeing, too, that someone is learning what makes them happy, Gemini's. You may have someone here that... They're used to kind of catering to the people around them. 
So whether it be their family, their friends, or whoever is close to them, they're used to catering to them and not necessarily towards a partner, if that makes sense. So I feel like this person is uh, wanting to like incorporate you into their life in some way so it doesn't feel like they aren't prioritizing you. Because I feel like this person may prioritize the people around them first and then you kind of come second, third, fourth, last. <laughs> Your spirit okay yep the queen of pentacles i feel like gemini's and then we did see the king earlier there's something heavily money focused both of you may be very successful gemini's or you're going to get there the judgment's on the bottom so or one of you is and the other one is working towards it I feel like this person may see you as like their match, if that makes sense. Like they they feel like you two could come together and really grow something substantial, um, Gemini's. Like really, really grow something substantial. It's like they see you as their mate. They're equal, if that makes sense. Some of you, like I said, you may have like similar incomes or I'm trying to think of a way to put this. Your income might be a lot more than theirs and like they see you as like motivation to be better. Um, I just feel like they see you as very prosperous and, and being able to add to their life, uh, Gemini's. I'm also getting too though that this person may have a hard time balancing. Now, this is going to be for a few of you with the two of pentacles here, with the queen of pentacles and the empress. I feel like this person may have a hard time balancing you and their mother. It may have a very needy mother. Eight of pentacles. Mm -hmm. The hierophant. Oh, baby. <laughs> Taurus energy again. Now, like I said, what I'm not sure of yet, Gemini's, take this how it resonates because this could go either way. Like this could be a new person, but this could also be a past person. So take it how it resonates because I'm seeing a new energy here, you guys. Definitely. Heavy marriage vibes here, um, Gemini's. Heavy marriage vibes. You may also be dealing with someone that is like changing. I did say this earlier. They're like changing their uh, like their religion or they're changing their their spirituality or something. Or they're trying to learn themselves more. Like they're trying to learn more about what they really believe because this person may have just believed, you know, stuff because that's what their family believed or the people around them. And I feel like this person may be kind of learning stuff about themselves and this could also be you. This is similar to the reading from yesterday about self-reflection and stuff. Self-assessment. This person may work a lot too, uh, Gemini. Six of Wands. Yeah, it's like this person is willing to put in work. Like they're willing to do whatever it takes to build with you. But like I said, for others of you, it's this person's mother's involved in some way. Um, Gemini's. So take it how it resonates. Child. <laughs> the temperance again saw we saw that earlier the eight of wands and the two of cups i told you see the eight of wands is on the bottom of this deck as well so i'm seeing progress between you and this person uh gemini's 
I'm seeing progress between you and them. And like I said, if you're not talking to them, I feel like they are going to be reaching out to talk to you. And I feel like they are going to want to move forward with you, uh, Gemini's. They want to progress. They want progress between you and them. They want to work on the connection, Gemini's. They want to prioritize you better. They want to give you more time. And like I said, I feel like this person sees you as marriage material. And like I said, this Eight of Cups here could be them having to leave behind um, literally their family <laughs> to try to incorporate. Because like I said, the temperance is about merging, incorporating. So I feel like they want to incorporate you into their life somehow instead of always giving their time to other people. I feel like they want to start, you know, mingling and um, bringing you into the mix with that um, Gemini's but I'm seeing something heavily spiritual here as well so either you or them is going through some type of spiritual awakening or trying to find what you believe in or finding out that what you believe isn't totally true and so you're researching to find out what fits with you Let's get a couple of these. Could be dealing with an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we do see that Aquarius here with this King of Swords. And it makes me wonder if uh, cards are going everywhere. Child. If you haven't heard from somebody, you will be hearing from them pretty quickly. Because <laughs> what was that? <laughs> so what fell out was your mind still. Uh, yeah, well... <laughs> oh gosh I can't live without you I'm telling you it's like this person stop ignoring me fell out into my hands <laughs> Gemini quit messing with this person please forgive me yeah some of y'all y'all just being petty now <laughs> this just flipped over I know you're the one for me I told you this person feels like you're their person. They feel like you're their person. You are here on this earth for them. Might seem a little selfish, but fight for you on the bottom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You are here for them, Gemini's. I'm also getting two. I'm about to call slash text you. Hmm. Let me say that this is going to sound far-fetched, you guys. Especially if you're dealing with a Sag, a Taurus, Aquarius, well, it could be any sign, you guys, but this is just what I see. Um, Libra, Taurus again, Capricorn. I feel like this person may have had a vision of y'all's future. Yep. I feel like this person may have had a vision of y'all's future and... Like, y'all were together. Y'all may have had a family. Y'all may have been, like, really well off financially. Yeah. So, that's why I feel like this person might be very set on um, having this dynamic with you. Because it's just something about... This person knows that... I mean, it says in the card, I know you're the one for me. But I can't stress enough. This person knows that y'all are meant to be together. They know it. They have this inner knowing about it. Told you something heavily spiritual here, you guys. They may not tell you this, though, but I feel like this person may have had some type of vision or something. These feelings feel are like no other. It scares me. Let me just get a couple. I didn't know what I had till I lost it. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Please hear me out. One more, spirit. One more. Because of you by Neo. All right, Gemini's, hit that like, hit that subscribe, y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace out.